our stationary sample walk. When we have this moment when we send from our same to like the other leg backwards, we not work this muscle, we not work our uh, back leg muscle, we release. So the same situation happens here. When you go to somebody's and you recover here, release, release your hip into the rotation. One, two, release one. Two, release one. Two, release one. Two, release your right side. Release. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Is prepare on the second count. So if you have one bar, eight count. One and two. So when you start and one.
with the legs. We switch it with the body. Ah, one, ah, two. So right now I need to hit this pulse through your body. Instead of the club, we're gonna prepare our body. So when we that one and two, one, ah, two, prepare yourself, three, ah, four, you still use the bounce action. And then it goes to the pulse. Ah, five, the body change your direction. Not your eyes, not your feet. It's your pulse through the body. That's what we're going to go first. Not your focus. And ah, five, I six, seven, I eight, ah, one, ah, two, three, ah, four, ah, five, I six, seven, ah, eight, ah. So ah, your body goes first. One, ah, two, three, ah, four, body, five, I six, seven, ah, eight. Every time before you change the direction, that's the pulse. Yes, to, make, uh, to look more competitive wise. But at the same time, everyone prefer more home buttons during the summer because then we can show maximum bounce and we can show maximum the videos. During the progressive steps and progressive movement, we cannot show enough bounce and the rhythms in our bodies. So, to play with that, you have to also understand where you have progressive pieces in your samba, where you have to like move and go. Yes. Uh, and where you want to show maximum bounce. Uh, of course, it all depends on your team, depends on your priorities, but we're going to use uh, during very, very simple steps, let's say. For example, we will use in one bar, we will use the first bar, usually we use first bar, uh, first part of the bar, we use for the bounce. So you dance it more active and you dance it much more with the bounce, more rhythmical, so you, you can go full on. The second part will be more flat, so we can also dance flat and more internal. Yes? So right now, we're going to play with that. We have a small, I have prepared a small routine for you. So we'll have a somebody, one, uh, two, that's what actually I started with, three and four. And now from here, we're going to go to the wall, the five, and six, and seven, and eight. Okay? So, the first part of Samba is the first one and two and three and four, we're going to use the same principle where we start from today. We're going to use preparation and one, uh, two and three maximum bound and four. Now, we change the direction right now. So it means if we talk about the section, second topic, what I just discussed with you, that's a pulse. Right. Ah, and now, we have a polka, and of course it's our, our own choice how we want to make this polka. We want to do it more as a critical aspect, more compact in place, or we want to make it more progressive. So it's means flat. So the second part of our bar, we're going to use this polka and we'll move progressively. So it will be no rise and fall. It will be very flat movement after the pulse, five, uh, six, uh, seven, uh, We'll move progressively, and I want to see this contrast in your <coughs> in your energy as well. Okay, let's try one more time. Somebody first. Five, six, seven, eight. Ah, uh, one. Ah, uh, six. Three. Ah, uh, four. Ah, uh, five. Six, seven, eight. That's right. Five, six, seven, eight. Ah. Uh, start with this kind of exercise when you change your direction, when you change a uh, totally different angle. Your pulse it doesn't go in one direction, it's already redirects you to the, to the next movement, to the next rotation or the next corner of the room. So it's better to use it as a momentum where you go somewhere, where you change the direction. So it's not, uh, it could be, but it's always better to use it in like a as a change of direction, yes. So the pulse, let's say, that's why it's best option to use the pulse over here, because you're going to the volta. You kind of already change, so your pulse will not lose, uh, will stop only here. Your pulse, it will lead you to the 
to the next movie. Because I have a special request about Badafoga. So we will continue with Badafoga. We will start a uh, one. That's very important because we have so many options right now and so many styles of doing the patafoga. But what is the basic patafoga uh, you know? What do you usually use in your dancing, let's say? Are you using through the cruzada box or are you using through the cross? Both. Okay. Okay, let's talk about the very like the basic <coughs> step. We'll do it through the cruzado walk. Of course, we don't have enough space, but we'll I will try to explain it. So when we finish here, seven and eight. Eight again. Eight. We don't stop. We don't lock our knees. We already prepare. Eight. Uh, one. And we prepare our song to the walk. Now from here. One again. We don't lock the knee. Ah. Uh, uh -huh. And very, very important here to feel that your leg is mobile. You're not one, you're not stuck. One. I want you to pivot on the leg and two. Again. Uh, three, uh, four. So it's kind of like when you arrive on the knee, your knee is going, it's going around. Uh, two. Thank you so much. <laughs>